hello guys good evening good afternoon and good morning to all of you and uh, in this video i will be backing up the physical server so first of all you need to open the swim backup and application console and on top of that you need to go to the backup infrastructure then select the platform mine is microsoft windows i need to add a server okay and i wanted to add this server the ip address is here it is so i'm making a copy to it and adding the credentials username for the server and password is yes. now we are good to go go next make sure this server the server the computer you are taking that should have a transport service installed and you can find that in the software in the tools okay you have a setup of being backup and application just explore the setup and go to the tools and you are going to find transport feature is there okay so just follow those steps Let me check if there is a beam setup is there or not. No, I don't have as of now. So you will find that in the setup, so don't worry. It's it's done now. Go next and finish so we have done one thing just we have been to the backup infrastructure manage server microsoft windows and add server and that is our server the next thing i am going to the inventory and going to the physical infrastructure and create protection group which is not required but you, you can add it it's just an advantage protection group one and Select this is an individual computer in case it is active directory server you can select this or csv file so the first one and go add use this is the ip address and these are the credentials you have to add the credential and here it is okay and go next just do not make things as a default and also make sure there are three services transport veeam distribution service and veeam agent for microsoft windows z distributable should be there so again you can find those from uh, the tools the setup you just go to the veeam backup and the application setup and just go to the tools and find those services and install them in that particular computer if you have a password of this computer you can it automatically install to that workstation in most cases go next click on run discovery when i click finish okay it's success and all has been the tick mark go we'll close it protection group and you can find your server here and just go to this protection group and add to backup job you can do it from a new job or just go to the physical server and create job or policy so go to the backup job and say windows computer there's a virtual machine windows computer linux so windows computer is there select the workstation and uh, go next agent policy one go next add from protection group if you do not create a protection group you can add from individual machine so i already have a protection group which is desktop go next do you want to copy the entire computer including external drive just tick mark or leave it blank 
this is for the volumes this is for the file level so i am selecting entire computer backup i wanted it to store to the local or shared storage or a beam backup repository i wanted to so go next this is the name of the computer and this is my backup repository i have multiple i am selecting this because this is having 632 gig of free space go next go apply finish now if you go to the backup your agent backup policy has been enabled and if you right click it ha it has been started you know because you can see stop backup feature here so it is running right now if you go to the running you can see agent backup policy and it is waiting for rescan job to complete so here is your rescan job it is done now go to the agent backup policy and it is going smooth let us wait for some time it will start i'll pause the video to save the video length so backup job configuration has been applied and done so you just go to the backup job and start back go to apply configurations and wait for some time So backup has been taking place okay it can take several minutes to depends on the type of configuration your system have and we are good to go i'll pause the video i'll resume it back when it's at 200 percent i'll show you the backup file and then in next video we will learn how to recover it back we can see the job progress is 3% and it has been status is 69% preparing for backup, requiring backup infrastructure. Now it is backing up the C drive, you know, it is it has been backing up the entire computer and out of C drive it is backing up which is 118.1 GB and that's all it is going on. So let us wait until it finish. So we can see the backup has been completely done and it is stopped and if this is success and we can see the job has been finished. So we are good to this backup has been done and if you want to verify it you can simply go to the drive and we can go to the backups and here it is your vmh and backup is there so this is your backup file so what we need to do is now we need to create a, a recovery file okay so i already have one and which is on the desktop that is vmware recovery media and in case if you don't have it just go to the physical infrastructure go to the protection group right click here and there is option here agent and then click on create recovery media this is a recovery dvd in windows dvd we use as a recovery dvd this is almost similar to that sometime our operating system crash so this utility take us to recover so if you click on this create recovery dvd it is going to create a recovery dvd for you now where i want to save my recovery dvd on the d drive i can write it to a disk or on my f storage drive or i can create an iso file for that so i'm choosing the third one and i'm keeping it on the desktop okay go next that's it it takes some time and when it finished i will be having a recovery iso file like this that that i will use to recover it the operating system back the recovery file has been created and it's done so I can go and find it where I have created that. 
probably in the downloads okay so i need to check that yeah it is in the document beam recovery media and it is just created now okay so this is also similar to this file so i i will be using any one of those in my next video to recover the physical machine